parents are uh, both German and they are farmers. They actually studied agricultural studies when uh, they were young and they bought this farm in Italy and, and that's where I grew up. I started to play concerts when I was seven and at first it was just little local concerts but then it sort of developed into into more and I started to play with small orchestras and and so it sort of took on a life of its own. Suddenly I found that I had all this responsibility that I had to be ready for all these concerts. When I was 15, I got into a very bad accident uh, in a fire um, on the farm that I grew up in. And so I had to, um, it was very bad and I had to stop playing for about uh, two years actually. When I started playing the violin again, um, I, there, I had a few concerts that had actually been scheduled before my accident and that were then uh, had been postponed. So I played them and some of them were in the United States. Several of the conductors that I, that I, that I played with uh, were managed by a manager called Michal Schmidt. And she came um, to Italy to hear me and decided to take me on. Even though I was just 17, I just started playing again. I, you know, it was, but somehow uh, she believed in me and eventually convinced me to move to New York to study uh, at, at Juilliard. You know, I think coming to New York was, was really very good because I uh, suddenly was among a lot of people and people who really treated me like anybody else. I think also chamber music was a big factor when I started to play a lot of chamber music. Um, that made me a much better musician. When I play a piece, my, my goal for myself is really that to experience myself, the music, very intensely and all the emotions and characters. I have this idea that if I feel them very strongly, only then do I actually have a chance of communicating them. Just because you feel happy doesn't mean that you sound happy, but it's part of it. I've noticed, for example, that some pianists sing when they play. And, you know, I exper there was a time when I experimented with that, where I would sing while I play, or at least like sing silently, but pretend in my head that I was... Like, because when you, when you sing, all the, all the phrasing and the expression, it happens very naturally, actually, because you don't, it, it is not so many steps in between to make all, the, all of it happen. I'm really doing what I've always wanted to do and I'm playing with orchestras that I'd always wanted to play with, like the New York Philharmonic or the Boston Symphony and orchestras like that. And so it's really a, a dream come true. I just want to keep, keep doing it uh, and, and, and enjoy it. Mm -hmm.